Hello, I'm George Herbig, Chief Forecaster here with WeatherNow Kentucky. We have an update for you regarding the storms that we expect to see on Thursday and Friday. The current time is 5.55 p.m. on Wednesday as of the time I'm making this video here. I always like to add those in for people that may not be aware of when exactly we're making this update. But I'm going to show you the latest model data of course was to come and where we expect the hardest hit areas to be so on your screen now is the latest excessive rainfall outlook from the weather prediction center via weatherwise uh radar here uh so again the higher end zones are your yellow zones which pretty much includes a lot of kentucky basically from the i-75 corridor uh to pretty much all points west uh for an area where elevated rainfall is expected on top of the melting snow that we've seen with the one to two inches of rainfall, maybe even up toward three inches in some places uh, to, uh, Thursday and Friday, uh, we may see a flash flood risk uh, pose itself, especially by the evening time going toward the late night hours, which is always the worst time to get those flash flood risks. But as you can see for yourself, this threat does include much of Kentucky. As a matter of fact, you could probably scoot this a little bit further east to include more of Eastern Kentucky as well. Uh, but that's the current outlook from the WPC. Just real quick, I want to give you a real quick messages from our sponsors. They're, they're the reason we can do these things, guys. So hopefully you can hear them out. Maybe you'll hear something you like. FBI Buildings has over a half a century of experience in renovating, remodeling, and rebuilding any residential and commercial building. They also can give your pole barns new life. If any disaster does hit, be sure to go to FBIBuildings.com for a free quote. Digital Solutions in Radcliffe, Kentucky is a family-owned tech shop. Be sure to repair or purchase any device from them and keep the business local. Thank you to Kayla and her team for supporting WNK. It's a good idea after this harsh winter to make sure your roofs are ready to go for the springtime storms. If you're in or around Hardin County, make sure you check out Hyper Roofing at the link on your screen. And that link, by the way, will also be in the description below. I could list all their accolades, but just know if I trust them and recommend them to you, that my word is good. Get ahead of the storms by making sure your home is ready for them. Bright Implement has over 15 locations throughout all of Kentucky and making it convenient for you to go shop with them. They're our longest standing sponsor and we appreciate them so much for their support. They have so many things from outdoor apparel to outdoor vehicles to things to help you on your farm. Uh, a Right Implement is such a phenomenal company and someone that you really want to support in Kentucky. Thank you so much for Right Implement and to all of our sponsors. We appreciate you. Let's get back into the video. Now let's go ahead and take you on an hour by hour look via the HRRR model. Now there's several different models we could look at here, but uh, one of the best at, at simple events like this is just looking at the HRRR model. It's our most HD model available. I'm going to skip this on forward actually to Thursday around noon. That's when we expect the rain to really kick off in western Kentucky. Of course, it'll start as just a light to moderate rain before it gets heavier. It has to saturate that column. We're, we've had a lot of dry air lately. Um, so it has to saturate that column first. So there actually should be a period of rainfall that's actually going to occur uh, and may not hit the ground at first. Uh, but by about 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern time, you can tell a lot of central and western Kentucky where we see those heavier rainfall totals expected really under that uh, wave of rain now. As that advances through to around the late rush hour going to 8 p.m. Eastern time, pretty much all of the state is under a heavy or a moderate rainfall at that point. Pushing this forward to late Thursday going into Friday, still some heavier rains on going out western Kentucky. Moderate rains now just pounding for anywhere from Pikeville to Lexington to Somerset at this point. Advances forward toward the 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. hour. Uh, most of that rain is now east of I-65, uh, your show out there. Some spotty little thunder showers, if you will, on this backside in western Kentucky. Advances on forward by about 7 to 8 a.m. tomorrow. Most of the rain should be gone. This model's keeping it, you know, with Eastern Kentucky till about the noon uh, time frame. Uh, I don't know if it'll quite last that long, um, but nonetheless, you see the the ordeal there. Basically, raining for almost 20 hours straight for most folks throughout the state. A lesser story that's being mentioned with this, but still want to mention this, is the wind gust we're going to see. Again, we do have saturated grounds already because uh, of the snow that's been melting, even though it's technically still frozen underground outside for most folks. We still have saturated grounds. So the concern is we do have some wind gusts that arrive, especially in that afternoon time frame for Kentucky. Let's go ahead and advance this forward to 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. You'll see 20 to 30 mile per hour wind, not too bad. Once we get to the evening time, when the bulk of the rain actually moves to the east, on that backside, we do expect to see wind gusts really tick up. Basically, where it's not raining, wind gusts will be heavier. Uh, so let's go ahead and advance this on forward to Thursday, 
Friday around midnight or so. Those heavier wind gusts going on through there. Uh, and then about the sunrise hours on Friday, that's when the winds will really kick up. Uh, anywhere between 30 to 45 mile per hour winds could be seen throughout portions of Kentucky, especially in the central portion of Kentucky. That's where the jet streak, you know, 500 millibar layers, several thousand feet above our head. That's where it's really positioned to take hold. And with those clouds opening up, could transfer some of those wind gusts down to the ground. Talking about, uh, again, up to 45, maybe even a 50 mile per hour reading at some point. Throughout some portions of Kentucky here, as you can see, around the 8 a.m. Eastern time hour on Friday, looking at your screen here, 42 mile per hour wind gusts expected near Elizabethtown, somewhere 33 mile per hour up toward Louisville. Advance us on forward, you'll see that 42 mile per hour up there. Lexington now with several red streaks here. Those reds are anything above 45 mile per hour. Advance us on forward, you'll see those wind gusts kind of scoot out by about lunchtime on Friday. So uh, heavier wind gusts with this as well. Flash flooding risk with this in many locations uh, throughout the state. And overall a messy situation. Fortunately, we do not expect any severe weather with this at all. So that said, I'm George Herbert, Chief Forecaster here with Weather Now Kentucky. Thank you so much for tuning in to this broadcast. We appreciate you and hope to see you in the next one.